Hello and greetings, Lumel4 here, for the guest day on all things Futark. This week on all things Futark, we have a topic suggestion from Rick Greta requesting the theological aspects of the runes. Now, as many know from watching this channel, the runes have direct connotations to the divine. Now, how this works is that Odin, excuse me, I'm sorry for Dion, I just woke up. Scratch that. Now, how this works is that Odin uh, sacrifices himself for the runes. Um, runes themselves, outside of their magical properties, uh, were manipulated by man into language. Now, that, that thought aside, we have to acknowledge that Odin is responsible uh, for the Futharks and to be thankful to him whether or not uh, one worships, worships him. Uh, that is not what I'm asking. Just be thankful uh, for his sacrifice for the runes. Now, the sacrifice uh, led into something else. But before I cite that something else, I'm going to tell you about the sacrifice. This comes from the Hava Mall. Um, I know that I hung on a windy tree, Knights Hall 9, uh, pierced by a spear, dedicated to Odin, myself to myself I give, on a, on the tree of which no man knows of which its roots rise. Um, this this specific poem, uh, since I am a Rune Guild member, I have to uh, recite daily, or Rune Guild Associates, I say, I have to recite daily. Now, the other half of it is, none refreshed me ever with food or drink, I peered right down in the deep, uh, this is into the well, uh, crying aloud, I lifted the runes, then back I fell from thence. Um, he's reaching down into the well, either a spirit as a spirit or as himself, of which I do not know, and the pain causing him to, to yell out as he grabs up the runes and is immediately pulled back with the runes in hand, immediately pulled back into the tree. Now this leads into the Galdur songs, uh, this, this part of the Hollow Mall. Um, But first we have the charges of the runes before I go into the Galdr. Um, we have to know how to write. We have to know how to read. We have to know how to, to paint them. We have to know how to ask for things. We have to know how to offer for them. We have to know how to send. Um, and other such aspects when it comes to the runes, when it comes to our ritual practices uh, regarding them before we use them. Um... There's suggestions given uh, regarding sacrifices that um, don't ask for more than what you're offering type of ordeal. Um, 
the Galder starts at the, the stances 145 and goes on uh, perhaps to the end of the Hubble Mall. Yes, to the end of the Hubble Mall. Uh, there's 18 songs uh, referencing the runes within any combination or alteration thereof. And then we have the divine uh, divine equivalencies uh, to the runes. Those I do not know offhand, but they were done in um, that often Raven's video. With six minutes on the clock, this is what I have for you. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please feel free to reply within any format one desires. This is Lumil4 checking out Rain Terluna, my friend. And of course, there is something else I forgot to mention. Uh, when it comes to the Sage Cross the Spacecraft, uh, we have to thank Freya uh, for bringing that in. Uh, so, Odin and Freya, uh, big contributors. Um, thank you, other members of All Things Truth Arc, for reminding me to mention this, because it totally slipped my mind. Um, That's all I have for you now. So let's try this again. I ain't to learn it, my friends.